May 2017. The worst cyber attack in the world today threatens millions of computers. Vona Cry is a monster, a network skull that spreads rapidly from computer to computer. Every vulnerable system is encrypted, all files become unusable, and the corresponding user is blackmailed. You have to pay $300 in bitcoins to get your files back. The worm causes colossal damage from 3 to 6 billion euros in almost one day. And that was probably just the beginning, if it wasn't for him. A tall shy guy, in the basement of a small British town, stops the full edge with one movement. By accident. Up to this point, he was an ordinary anonymous person on the internet, and almost no one knew who he was. Now he becomes a hero overnight. This is a story about a brilliant hacker, a colossal triumph over the North Korean army, and a multi-day battle with giant bootnets. It's also the story of a dark, illicit-filled past centered on a hideous banking virus. This is the story of Marcus Hutchins. By the way, if you understand that being a hacker is not yours, then I advise you to do honest work, namely video editing. In this case, the Fillmore Editing Program, the sponsor of today's video, can help you. Fillmore is a unique program because it includes many functions related to artificial intelligence. For example, with the help of the assistant to the pilot, you can receive recommendations, installation tips, and also ask questions that interest you. Also, a very cool feature is the creation of music without copyright. Personally, it helps me a lot. But the best thing here is the new loot function, with which you can do stylish color correction. Just choose the preset you need and make a masterpiece out of an ordinary video. Here's what color correction I got. Working with the voice using, and, and is also present Fillmore, and saves a lot of time, because you can press a couple of buttons. To get a voice without silence and in the finished processing. You can also generate various images using and and use ready-made video templates and effect templates for your videos. In general, there are many times more different basic functions. Therefore, download Fillmore right now from the link in the description and easily make your videos. In the spring of 2017, Marcus Hutchins turned 22 years old. He still lives at home with his parents in Infracombi, works as a researcher for Cryptos Logic, a cybersecurity company. Who doesn't know, botnets are essentially a network of hacked computers. A hacker can control and coordinate these networks. With the help of such botnets, you can, for example, attack servers or send out a lot of spam. Hutchin, with incredibly good penetrations and analysis of these networks and their malicious behavior. Perhaps at that time, he was even one of the best bathnet researchers in the world. He also has a relatively successful blog where he writes about his work. And he's just about to a take a week so off. A major so-called ransomware attack is underway worldwide with more than 75,000 attacks reported. A crippling cyber attack has businesses around the world on high alert. It's now becoming clear that this malicious software has run riot around the world. Today is the 12th of May, Friday. Vona Edge destroys the infrastructure of entire companies. Five hospitals in London are paralyzed. It is impossible to treat patients its specialists run through the corridors to turn off computers before the devil reaches the machines. One of the reasons Vaughn on the edge is spreading so fast is because he uses Eterna Blue. This is an extremely powerful hacking tool that was actually developed by the ENSA. It leaked everything a few months ago and then became available to the whole world. Microsoft has eliminated the corresponding vulnerability of Windows for a long time, but we all know that the people of the organization are not very willing to update their Windows. Thus, in an insanely short time, one over the edge infected a total of about 230,000 computers. In 150 countries, the victims include German banks, Spurbank of Russia, Renault, Nissan, Honda, FedEx, Boeing, and many other organizations, such as universities or police stations. Today, it is quite certain that the attack was carried out with North Korea, but this Friday afternoon, none of this is absolutely unknown. But every security researcher in the world knows that he is insanely dangerous to the extreme. Hutchins instantly interrupts his vacation and studies the malware. Almost immediately, he finds something in the code. Strange sight. Every time a worm infects the system, it tries to connect to this website. Hutchins notices that he's not even registered. Strange. He understands that this domain can be useful to prevent the network worm from scaling. To figure it out, he quickly registers it for just 9 euros. He spends the next few hours analyzing all the traffic coming into this domain. But thousands of systems are trying to access the domain. All of them have been infected by it on the edge. 
This gives Hutchins an idea of how the virus spread around the world and who could have been affected. But here he does not even suspect that he has put an end to it on the edge. This set of letters.com is a kill switch, or in simple words, an emergency switch. When the worm has entered the system, the first thing the program looks for is whether this domain is available, if not. The system is encrypted and everything is ready. In this case, he is simply stopped by the edge and cancels his attack. It is still not entirely clear why the programmers who created the worm installed this particular emergency switch. Maybe so that in case of an emergency, you can solve everything yourself. But then why didn't they register the domain themselves? Maybe they just forgot. Who knows? In any case, the danger has not passed yet. The news about the domain and the blogger who registered, it is spreading with incredible speed. Over the next few days, Hutchins and his employer Cryptos Logic will struggle with all their might to keep the domain online. Because there is a huge data traffic from hundreds of thousands of infected systems in contact with the domain, but then follows a massive attack by one of the most brutal batnets of all time die. The domain has been bombarded with a huge mass of unnecessary data for several days in the hope of disabling the domain. Why hackers carried out this attack is still not clear. Hutchins and his colleagues get help from Amazon Web Service and then from Cloudfly to resist the attack and redirect it. A few days later, they finally succeed. The domain remains online, but it's stopped at the edge. Marcus Hutchins becomes a shy hero in the community, but his story doesn't end there. A few months later, the DOFCON will be held in Las Vegas. This is the largest hacker conference in the world. Hutchin flies there with a few friends, throws a party, and spends a week having fun nonstop. He and his friends rent an incredible Air Binbuy, the largest private pool in Vegas, they go to outdoor bars and so on. But when Hutchins, hungover, waits at the airport for a return flight, he is arrested and interrogated by the FBI. Maybe it's over there on the edge. Unfortunately not, not at all. Marcus Hutchins has a dark past. Since childhood, he has been obsessed with computers and hacking. Unfortunately, that's why he ended up in the dark corners of the internet early. Kachins spent his youth on shady forums, created bootnets himself, hosted illegal websites, and wrote malware. He was always quite talented, so when he was 16, he caught the eye of the wrong people and started working for them. At the age of 19, Marcus Cocken programmed a significant part of the Kronos banking virus. This allowed hackers to secretly infiltrate users' systems for a longer period of time. From there, they could, for example, steal passwords when users logged into their online banking. Kronos was even able to embed fake web forms on websites to trick people into entering their PIN code. During this entire period of time, a modest boy from England became addicted to illegal substances. According to him, the guilt and the substances caused great anxiety, and in the end, he stopped programming malware for criminals, and abruptly stopped working. By the year 2017, this dark chapter of his life had long been left behind. Hutchins spends two years in the United States awaiting trial for involvement with Kronos. At this time, he is moving to Los Angeles. When he is sentenced in the 19th year, he will be subject to supervision. The judge sees in him a person who has long gone on a new and better path, and also, as a person who can and should protect society with his skills. Hutchins gets a year of probation and release. The visit to the edge was so devastating that no one can estimate how bad things would have been without the young researcher Batnet from England. No wonder he appears on the cover of Vi magazine with the title Hacker Who Saved the Internet. But in the end, we all need to understand that the story of Marcus Hutchins is about something else entirely. How quickly the talents of the environment can mix into a destructive cocktail, especially in the hacker world. Personally, I think Hutchins' greatest achievement is that he was able to abandon his dark past. And the accidental destruction of Vaughn Cry was just a nice bonus.